One of my friends requested to make a logo for him. His channel name is Itifak. So I am trying to write his channel name first in Persian. Then I will try to brainstorm and make different ideas. and I will select the best one that I like. In this stage, you don't need to make it so perfect just try to bring your ideas together. And you don't need to be a good sketcher. Let's start to make a logo we are going to use the golden ratio to make a nice and clean logo. With the help of the golden ratio, we will make these circles. Let's start to make golden ratio first. Select the rectangle tool and press shift to draw a perfect square shape. Select the shape and press alt and drag it to the left to duplicate this. Select both shapes and click on the corner of the shape and drag to make it smaller. While selected move the cursor a little far from the corner to rotate the shape, then select the top one, and repeat the steps to copy and resize more shapes like this. Our golden ratio is ready. Now let's make circle based on this golden ratio. Hold down the rectangle tool to open other tool options and select the ellipse tool. Then in the center of the rectangle hold shift and alt to draw a circle perfectly inside the rectangle. Then the same step repeats to make all the circles. So we are deleting these shapes as we already make circles. I will drag outside of the circle and select all of them and bring them inside the artboard, and this is our golden ratio circles. Ok, now let's see our sketch, and now we will select each circle which is near to the shape of the logo, and by pressing alt, drag and drop that circle, it will make a copy of that circle. Like this, you can make a perfect logo shape by using the golden ratio. Press the Ctrl Y key to change it into a wireframe so that you will see the curve easily. It is important that all curves should be an overlay of each other. Then again press the Ctrl Y to make it back to normal mode. Then again select and press Alt and drag the circle to make a copy of that. Like this, we will arrange all the circles.
Now, select the circles then click on the Shape Builder tool and press Alt and click on Extra Lines to remove and click without Alt to combine needed lines. Press Ctrl Y to change the mode to the line and make the line perfect overlay. It is important to make the lines overlay. If we don't make it overlay, the shape builder will not be able to remove properly the unwanted lines or to add the lines. Then again, we will select the circles and select the shape builder to delete extra lines by pressing the Alt button on the keyboard. We will try to make the lines cleaner and delete the extra lines. For these extra lines, we need to select the lines and delete it manually. Ink as if the lines are still not clean. We will remove extra points by selecting and pressing the delete button. If the line's still not proper by curve we will change it into sharp and again we will make it smooth, then the lines will be smoother. Then we need to unlock the guides. By right-clicking on the screen and select Unlock the Guides. Guides are very useful to measure and mark the specific place to work on. It can be activated by pressing Ctrl R, it will activate the ruler, then drag and drop the lines from the ruler, and release it in any place you want to mark. You can also duplicate the guides by selecting and pressing the alt and drag and drop it. Same as we do for the shapes. Now, duplicate another circle and put it below the flag, and press Alt plus Shift to make it straight and drag and drop to duplicate it.
after making one duplicate press Ctrl D to repeat the last action and same distance as the first duplicated one. Now, make another straight rectangle shape. Lock the guide so it will not move again. Then select the rectangle and make it smaller in height. Then duplicate the rectangle and make it thinner. Make the height until the top of the flag. Then select the two bottom circle and make it smaller. Select all three circles and duplicate them for the backup that we will use it later. Now, select the rectangle and press Alt and drag and drop to duplicate it, then press Ctrl D to repeat the action. Then duplicated the last rectangle and rotated and make the bottom shape. After rotating that shape select the first right shape and click on the alignment tool on the right side of the application. It will help us to organize our shapes very easily and accurately. Then we select the three shapes and adjust it according to the height of the sketch. Now, we select all three circle and select the rectangle by pressing shift when our selection is completed, then we release the shift and click the object as a guide for the alignment as we did here first we select the rectangle by pressing the shift key, then again we click on the rectangle to make it as a guide, and now, we will click the center button in the alignment to make it exactly in the center of the rectangle. Now, we select the circle and make a duplicate of that. Then select both circles and click on the Pathfinder tool and select the Intersect option, and then make it in the center using the Alignment tool. Then make another duplicate of that. Now, select all of the shapes and click Union in the Pathfinder tool. Duplicate the shape and make it center and little up. Then repeat the step until we get the shape.
Now, let's hide the sample. And now, select the bottom shape and delete extra lines by using the shape builder with pressing Alt. And also combine the shape by using the union in the Pathfinder tool. Now, let's apply some colors. First, we make two square shapes and click on the color to fill it. Now, select the shape and press I to select the color from the color sample. Then apply to all shapes. Now, we need to select the circle where we want a hole. Bring that shape on the front and select both of them, and click on the minus front from the back from the Pathfinder tool. Then select the remaining part and click I to fill the color. We realized that there are some extra lines we need to delete it. Sometimes if we can't select the extra files we need to lock the object we need then by pressing Ctrl 2. Then again drag the selection to select the extra lines. You will be able to select it. If you need to select the original shapes back. You need to unlock the shape by pressing Ctrl Alt 2. Now, let's make a dot of these letters. To make it first add some points by using the pen tool in the middle of all four lines and shrink it.
then select all four points and drag the points to make it a round shape. This feature is only available on CC versions. Then we need to duplicate the dots. This channel has an Islamic program, so I made a logo that represents its programs. Now, let's search for some color palette. I usually use the Adobe Color Palette website which gives a nice color for branding. So we will search for nice color palettes. Now, let's copy the code of those colors and paste it in our files so later on, we will let these color codes to make the same color as we had chosen. Then we will make a shape and double click on color to open the color code and paste that code. Then it will be so easy for us to apply those colors. What we need is to select the shape and press I to fill and select the color that we want. That is all. Let's add some English text as well to make it balanced. Then select a nice font for this. So finally, we have selected the font and managed it. Now, we will duplicate it for the black version as well. And we will make a group of this logo and the back one we will add white color, so it will not lose it when it is over the black background. And that is all. And it is ready to send to my friend. For this, I need to export the PNG version of this. Click the file menu and select export for screen and select that artboard that we want to send it. Thanks for watching it. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and press the bell button for more graphic videos.